The summer sun was setting over the misty mountains, bathing the peaks in a soft, golden glow. Ananda gazed out over the rugged landscape from his position, high on the cliffside. Far below, the trees were shadows between shining disks of sunlight. It was a remarkable sight that filled him with peace. He had been at the remote mountain temple for a month now, sent by his master in the city to learn from the venerable monk Bodhi. Each day followed the same routine, waking at dawn to greet the morning sun, meditation, chores, more meditation. Bodhi said little, spending hours in still contemplation before the temple's great golden Buddha. Ananda found the solitude challenging after years in the bustling monastery. He wondered what secret teachings Bodhi withheld, keeping always to himself. The old monk seemed to want nothing more than tranquility. Ananda yearned to unlock the mysteries of enlightenment, yet Bodhi offered no guidance. Was this truly the path? Ananda began to doubt. As the sun dipped below the cloud line, staining the sky crimson, he made his decision. That night, under cover of darkness, he would enter the temple and take the golden Buddha, thinking to sell it and find a teacher of real wisdom in the city. Shadows thickened as Ananda crept toward the temple. All was silent, save for his pounding heart. He eased open the great carved doors, beyond which the Buddha sat enthroned, a glow in moonlight streaming through high windows. Ananda reached to grasp it, then pulled with all his might. To his shock, the statue did not budge. Confused, he examined it closer and realized the gold was but a thin veneer. Beneath lay solid stone. His fingers found inscription on the plinth, This Buddha is not gold, nor is it stone. It is your own mind. The words struck him like a blow. All at once he understood Bodhi's lessons, his own folly, and the true treasure within reach all along, not wealth or status, but clarity of spirit. Tears of remorse sprang to his eyes. How blinded he had been by greed and impatience. At dawn, he went to Bodhi and confessed all with bowed head. To his surprise, the old monk smiled kindly. You have learned great wisdom through hardship. An open heart sees truth wherever it may be found. Now come, let us greet the morning sun together in meditation. From that day, a new understanding grew between student and teacher. Ananda joined Bodhi daily in contemplation of the golden Buddha, which shone forth not with reflected light, but the radiance of insight into life's profound simplicity. At last, he had found the guidance he sought.